What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another episode of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Remember to send your plays to nerpthaninja at gmail.com, and maybe you can be featured in the series and win 1,000 gold. Without further ado, let's start the countdown. Leading off the countdown at number 5 is a play by Color Plant and a ranked match between him and Apple Monkey Man. Apple Monkey Man has a Wings Captain and the ever dangerous Relentless Skirmisher attacking next turn. Color Plant needs to find a way to get past the Spiky Spearman and at least destroy one of Apple Monkey Man's attacking creatures, or his own creature will likely be toast the following turn. Color Plant places a Kinfolk Veteran in a perfect spot next to the Wildling, buffing it to 3 attack and in a spot where it can move behind the Kinfold Brave to destroy the 3 health Royal Skirmisher. Flawless positioning and perfect placement gave Color Plant a board clear. Number 4 in the countdown is a play from the Purple Pansy during his 24 hour judgment stream. Link to his Twitch channel is in the description. With stronger creatures on the field, Curious Cat is coming back into this judgment match, so Pansy is trying to win as soon as possible. Pansy is screaming at that Viscerous Asian Rot Eater to leave an idol open, so he might be able to sneak in a kill on an idol. That binding route won't be enough to stop him, though. What scrolls does Pansy use, you ask? Why, a Metal Heart and a Magma Pack, of course. This is what makes judgment so fun. Bad cards get used and do wonderful things. That Boom Reaver gave his life for the win. Number 3 in the countdown is a play by yours truly. I was playing a Judgment Mass versus Clever Underscore US and had my back against the wall. He had a row of creatures attacking my last idol with 3 health, and my Gravehawk was binding rooted. If I didn't come through with a big play here, it would have been game over for me. Before sacrificing, I draw an enchantment with the Earthborn Mystic. Draw a leash ring, sacrifice it for scrolls. Sister of the Fox, play it. Top deck, a Mangy Wolf. In this turn, I've top decked a Mangy Wolf, Sister of the Fox, and Champion Ring, which gives me just enough damage to clear that row. Number 2 in the countdown is yet another play by the Purple Pansy. The Sun Bro plays a Puppet Soldier and Horn of Ages, so Pansy is forced to attack a Puppet Soldier and clear up the only board presence he had. Now how does he manage to not be destroyed by this Puppet Soldier? I've seen people use Burn and other direct damage spells, but Pansy does something else. Pansy plays a Plating to negate all the damage that the Echo Baton will do, and the Puppet Soldier and his creatures will survive. That was a very heads up and clever play. It's what you've all been waiting for. The top scrolls play of the week is in a match between Solemn Giant, the player Solemn Giant, not the scroll, and Zadrim, a very high ranked player. Sorry the video is a little choppy, it was sent in this way. And if you don't know, the red shadows on some of the creatures on the board are because Solemn Giant's using a mod that highlights enchantments so that they're easier to see. So if you don't know what that is, that's what that is. Solemn Giant is staring at two zero countdown harvesters and another harvester at two countdown, not to mention the rest of Zadrim's filled board. The game looks all but lost for Solemn Giant. Solemn Giant plays a bloodline taint on all the undead creatures on Zadrim's board, and then a Mire Curse on the Curse Monger, which is touching all the harvesters. So those harvesters are cursed to each, and then uses his zero countdown curse mongers of his own to curse to the harvesters, and then sacrifices for resources, and I think you know what scroll is coming next. Baleful Witch destroys two of the harvesters, ends his turn, and that Mire Curse destroys the last harvester, and that, my friends, is the power of curse. What an amazing comeback by Solemn Giant. He's able to use Curse and Poison to destroy three low counts on Harvesters in the same turn. I've never seen anything like that before, and it was a remarkable comeback. 
congratulations to Solemn Giant. I'll give you your 1,000 gold in game soon. And that'll be it for today, everyone. So make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, submit your plays to be in the next episode of Top Scrolls Plays of the Week, and keep coming back on this channel for more Scrolls videos. So keep on playing Scrolls, Scrollsers, and get ready for the Scrolls release.